good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another edition of My Damn Hauls. This edition is actually going to be a little bit different. I apologize. It is not going to be me actually opening up the boxes, but I'm just going to showcase exactly what I got here because I got a lot of stuff to show off. Some some stuff that you've probably already seen, but I'm going to recap it a little bit. And then some other things that we're going to get into. And one special thing that is coming to the pick fed that revolves around My Damn Nation, a big matchup there. And it's going to change the landscape of the pick fed forever. And it's going to be a is it's a big time deal man i'm super excited for it i cannot wait for you guys to see it it came in yesterday and i immediately i went ahead and finished it because i wanted it to be done for the video and i wanted to show it off to you guys and i kind of want to start off with it let's just go ahead and start it because i want to put it in the screen for you guys because i want to talk about it real quick and then we'll cover the rest of the stuff because i got a ton of stuff to get to you guys in a little bit of time to get there so let's go ahead and shut the hell up guys so pretty much what we said if you guys watch tales gate you guys know that we uh we dedicated that show to Allie, which was the greatest cat of all time she was me and my wife's cat that we have owned since we started dating back in 2010 she was just a kitten then and she's just been around our entire relationship she passed away earlier this year and it was really devastating for us and uh, we continue to miss her every day we love her so dearly and I wanted to pretty much commemorate her and and put her memory into something that I love so much in, in the channel and the pick fed so what I decided to do you guys know that we have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal trophy and the and the Battle Royal itself that takes place at Wrestlemania well I I'm going to do my very own edition, and we're going to do the Alley Katniss Memorial Battle Royal. I don't know if it's going to be a Battle Royal. I think it's going to be a Battle Royal. You guys can let me know. I may just do a standalone match between some top talents at WrestleMania to kick off the show, and then the winner gets the trophy, or I might do a Battle Royal. I'll let you guys decide that. But here we go, guys. Drum roll, ready to put it in screen for you guys. I present to you the MDT Alley Katniss Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. Here we go. Would you look at this, ladies and gentlemen? I am so psyched for the way this thing came out. I mean, look at this, bro. It looks just like Alley Cat. It's in solid gold on top of the trophy stand there. You guys can see here, I have a little comparison so you guys can see exactly what it looks like up next to the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. And the it's shorter than the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. I think it's perfect, man. The colors, everything about it. I got this little mini cat figure in the mail yesterday. I immediately started working on it. At first, the tail came off the back end right here, so I heated it up and I folded it in, kind of like her, her tail never sat flat like this. It was always curled into her body when she would, you know, sit down in a position like this, so it fit in even, even better. I know that it wouldn't sit flush anyway, so I would have had to customize it that way, but it just, like, captures the likeness of her even more, and I don't know, man. I, I just love this, man. It's just so beautiful. Almost brings a tear to my eye how perfect this thing is and I cannot wait to uh, put this into the pick that you guys are going to ask me where Vindication 16 is and it's coming soon man it is freaking coming I know we've ran into so many roadblocks kind of like Hell's Gate it was just roadblock after roadblock but it's coming I promise it's it's coming just stay tuned it'll be worth the wait you guys know you waited on Hell's Gate it was worth the wait it'll be the same for Vindication and the rest of the pick feds but I, I love this trophy man I think it's so excellent and one thing you guys are probably just wondering oh it's just a it's just a memorial battle royal trophy trophy the winner gets the trophy and that's it that's not all we got brad i got i'm gonna make things interesting it's not just gonna be this throwaway trophy that some talent wins and that's it we're gonna do something with it okay so the winner of this trophy will be able to cash it in you can cash this thing in at any moment anytime you want but not for the main championship you can cash this beautiful alley katniss memorial battle royal trophy in for a mid card championship of your choosing so those choices would have to be the united states championship which is the champion jack swagger you could also cash it in on the iron man champion cody rhodes or you could cash it in on the vacant revolutionary championship which at this point there's not a holder but we may have a holder before my damn nation and we may have one the night of my damn nation we may have a match for this and then you know the winner of the alley cap memorial battle royal cashes this thing in and captures the championship who knows you know nobody knows at this point but i did want to make a mid-card championship cash in title type deal and this works perfectly i wanted to memorial Memorialize Alley, and I wanted to uh, make this Battle Royal trophy, and it look it, it turned out better than I imagined, man. I, I'm super proud of this. Probably the best prop or custom thing I've ever done for the pick fed in my life. I, I love this, man. I, I really do love it, and I would love to know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. It's perfect. Perfect size, perfect everything. It works out perfectly, and I cannot wait to see what comes of the Alley Katniss Memorial Battle Royal. You guys are probably wondering where the Extreme Championship is in the mid 
start well, Brad. That thing's on the line 24-7, so I guess you don't really have to cash in. You don't have to win some Battle Royale to get a little cash-in moment there, but I had to showcase this first, man. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Again, freaking beautiful. Freaking love it. Love it, love it, love it. So we're putting that off to the side. We got some other things to get into real quick before we uh, finish up this My Damn Halls episode, but that was the one of the halls. You know, we got the uh, we got the Alley Cat trophy, or the little figurine. I put it on top of the uh, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale trophy right here. I glued it down. I, I sat it there. I painted it all gold, and it works beautifully. I'm super proud of that thing. Anyways, enough about the trophy for now. Let's move on to some other stuff. You probably are wondering why the hell we got all this other stuff in here. Well, first of all, Brad, I'm going to be listing some stuff on eBay, and this is just some of the stuff I want to put on eBay. I'm going to put these retros. If you guys are interested in retros, I got Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Ric Flair, and Finn Balor. So these four things will be on eBay. I'll put the link to my eBay store down in the comment section below. By the time you see this video, they probably won't be up on eBay, but just stay tuned. They will go up soon, and uh, I will have these up on my eBay page. So if you guys are interested in these retros, those will be on there. Another thing that will also be on the eBay page is my custom pink, black, and gray Seth Rollins. So this custom Seth Rollins, if you guys have always liked this custom, you want to add it to your collection. Now is your time to own it if you guys want to own a custom by MDT. It's not in perfect condition, but you know, it's a pretty clean paint job going on. I think there's a little black mark right here on the thigh. Maybe the paint's not the cleanest, but if you guys want to add a fantasy attire, fantasy, you know, MDT-ish pink, gray, and black Seth Rollins to your collection, now's the time. It will also be going up on eBay. Now, for the rest of this stuff, you're probably like, what the hell's going on? Well, Brad, I also wanted to add to this because we got this in the mail for My Damn Halls, and that is this Top Talents 2020 Seth Rollins. I am going to put the X on the vest at one point coming soon, but you guys know that I took my first version and we fixed it up on action figure appointment, so I wanted another version to have in the regular attire with the X on the vest to put on my Seth Rollins shelf, so that's what we're going to be doing with that one. And if you guys missed our toy hunt from the other day, these were also involved in the My Damn Halls episode. We got these on our toy hunt, so I wanted to plug those in. Two more basics to uh, use the knee pads and the head sculpts, and I'll probably put him in the crowd along with the rest. So I did want to get into all that, let you guys know what was going on with those, and uh, let you guys know that we did replace our Top Talents Rollins with another one. And then I'm going to save these two for last because we got some other stuff to cover, but over here on this right side, guys, I wanted to give a huge shout out to any of you. If you guys have the Chase Dolph Ziggler, okay, the Chase Dolph Ziggler, so this version of Dolph Ziggler, please hit me up in my email. I want to make a trade or, a, or I need to buy somebody's Chase Dolph Ziggler in the pink. And then I also need an Elite 39 Dolph Ziggler with the black boots because I want to do this fix up, but with the black tape and the black boots. So if you guys have that black basic Dolph Ziggler that has these smaller arms with black tape, or you have the Elite 39 with these black boots right here, I need both of those figures as well as an extra Chase Ziggler so I can do the fix up that I want. I want to do that for action figure surgery episode number 50. So I really would like to get that trade done or that sale, whatever we do. So I did figure that you guys would help me the most with that. So there is that. And then finally, guys, we have our last two things here. And I, I could have, I, I don't think I did. I don't think I put it in a video, but for my birthday this year, which was uh, a couple months ago, my brother got me this figure right here. And you're probably wondering what in the hell is this, Brad? Well, this is a Raw Magazine Kurt Angle figure. And if you guys notice, it's from the early 2000s. I think it's from 2002. I think it's it's either 02 or 03 this figure came out. And for my brother's birthday, I, I was a savage, okay? As a little kid, my mom said, what does your brother want for his birthday? I think I was five or six years old. I think I was six at the time. She said, you know, or what does your brother want for his birthday? What does he want? And I said, there's this Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle was my favorite wrestler. Remember, I told you guys that a million times on the channel. I said, I said, Taylor really wants this Kurt Angle figure that's at Walmart. So she goes to Walmart, buys the Kurt Angle. It was this Kurt Angle. It was this Kurt Angle that she bought for my brother and when he got it in package this was not the one that I wanted her to get there was another Kurt Angle I'll try to pull it up on the screen if I can that was the Kurt Angle that I wanted her to buy she ended up buying the bald Kurt Angle with the uh, Uncle Sam hat and when I was a kid I hated bald Kurt Angle so when that happened I was like no that's not the right one but you know I couldn't add to that because I only wanted her to get the figure for him so that I could play with it and that was the whole story I literally I was I was literally scamming my own mom and brother on a Kurt Angle action figure when I was five, six years old. And uh, it is a funny story that we still tell to this day. So for my birthday this year, he got me this as a gag gift and it was great. I love this. I'm going to keep this mock forever. I want to hang it on the wall. And there's a fun little story time for you guys. Need to tell you more wrestling stories from my childhood. Like the time me and my brother met Undertaker at Walmart. If you guys want to hear that story, let me know down below. And then finally, to finish this My Damn Halls episode off, guys, I finally got my copy of SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. 
2007 for Xbox 360. If you follow me on Twitter, I mentioned that I'm going to start a GM mode here on the channel on SVR 2007. Now, I have the game, and I have the, I had to track down the Xbox 360, the Xbox 360 version of the game. But the reason I had to do that is because they didn't release this on PS3, and you can't really do that on PS2 without it being kind of crappy quality. Who's messaging me at 12 a.m.? It's just an IG thing. But I want to start a GM mode on the channel. It may involve my brother, Raw versus SmackDown, going back and forth. It may just be me trying to beat the CPU. But I got to beat the story mode real quick because I have to get some Legends unlocked because I don't want it to be a boring thing. I may start a, you know, like a season mode with like a creator wrestler. I've created wrestlers on PS2 of current day superstars. I may do that on this version and then run like a story mode with Seth Rollins or Finn Balor back in the day on 07. I don't know. A lot of fun ideas with this, but I do want to get that more uh, different stuff coming to the channel. I do want to do the GM mode for sure. Maybe the season mode will be another thing we can do, but I picked this up and I did want to showcase it to you here in My Damn Halls, but it would not be a My Damn Halls episode without the good old trusty knife. I know we didn't cut any packages open, but I got to get the trusty knife in here. I want to bring all the ish in too. So I want to get all the ish on screen, and then I'm going to bring up the good old trusty knife so that we can end this thing on a banger note here. So here's all the stuff. You got the custom Rollins going up on eBay. You got our champions over here. Got to get the got to get the Iron Man champion. Got to get the U.S. champion in here. Got to get the revolutionary vacant championship here. Vacant, hold this. We got our Hasbros in there, also available on eBay. And then finally, it would not be anything without the good old, the Alley Katniss Everdeen White Battle Royal Trophy. And now that we've done that, guys, I do want to hit the trusty knife before we get the hell out of here. Siska Sasaisa! Get! Get! All right, that's enough. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for our episode of My Damn Halls. Tons of information on this. I know there was a ton of stuff flying around, a lot of stuff going on in this episode of My Damn Halls and showing case everything that we picked up. But I would love to know what you guys' thoughts are on the Alley Katniss Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. What do you think about the GMO for SVR? What do you think about the cash-in stuff for the PickFed? PickFed coming soon, guys promise it. What do you think about the Kurt Angle story, the rest of the stuff? Let me know down in the comment section below. Email me if you have the Chase variant Ziggler, the Elite 39 Ziggler, or the Basic Ziggler with the skinny black wrist tape arms. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.